Hello, you fans of economy cars. So it might be like two of us. I got these Toro Qs here. It's a Nissan March and a Nissan Moco. I don't know what year these are from. The box never seems to say. I have a feeling these are probably sold at Nissan dealerships because there's nothing really... Well, it just looks like it, right? It's got the badging all over it for Nissan. But no, like, uh, promotional pictures of other models or anything like that. Let's see. I, I just don't know. I, I kind of doubt I would actually buy these if these, these were true 64 scales. But as Toro Qs, I, I don't seem to mind because they don't take up enough space. Right. So let's start with the Nissan March, which is also known as the Nissan Micra. So there's uh, three generation. This is the third generation of the Micra or the March, and it's just in a little compact car. It was sold between 2002 and 2011, I guess, were the model years. Uh, it's been rebranded under many different names as well. Uh, the Mitsuoka View, the Dusen Byron Ritz, whatever the heck that would be. I've never heard of that. Anyways, it'd be powered by a 1 liter up to a 1.5 liter uh, 4 cylinder. Or actually up to 1.6 cylinder according to Wikipedia. Okay. Let's see what details are on this guy. Well, this orange does look like a Nissan March orange. It's metallic. And uh, it's got these weird funky bug eye, like bug eye lights here. And then the badge here is very protruding and painted silver very nicely. There's just a little black detail in these vents. Unfortunately, there's no black paint in these. this vent, this whole lower grille. Seems odd that they would go through the trouble. Well, I guess it's because these are the ridges here that might get in the way. Anyways, you can see the motor through the smoked canopy there. And it's nice to see that the wheels here are unique. These aren't your standard Cherokee 5 spokes. I, I would guess these are actually realistic to certain hubcaps. Maybe that first picture I showed you. I think I might add some black paint in there later. Red tail lights, Nissan, yeah. And then the bottom here, 2002. All right, so now we know this thing's almost 20 years old. But because it doesn't actually have a number or anything here, I'm gonna guess this is, again is a dealer model because it's not part of a collection or anything or a standard line of products with numbers associated to them. But correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, look at this. It looks like this paint rash or bad paint there. Some sort of bubbles. Mm -hmm. That's too bad. All right. Well, I didn't pay much for these things, so I don't, I'm not too concerned. This next one is... Boy, I already forget what it is called. The box is Moco. Okay. So the... Nissan Moco here is basically a rebodied version of the Suzuki MR Wagon, which I actually do have a Cherokee of. And this, uh, so when I went to Wikipedia, there's no information, it just sent me to the Suzuki MR Wagon webpage. And so this is apparently the second generation of the Suzuki MR Wagon that was around 2006 to 2011. Sorry, I wasn't focused there. Sorry about that. All right, so it's a K-Class vehicle, meaning it has a 660cc motor. It's pretty small in its dimensions being that small with engine displacement. So again, it looks like unique wheels for this particular car. I'm gonna guess these are hubcaps or something on a certain car. All right, this is a metallic green, it's just nice. Some pretty thin body panel gaps. Some black paint here again, but not in here again. Raised badging there. Smoked canopy, you can see the motor. It's interesting. There's actually some molded struts here as part of this uh, windshield holding the thing, the motor down there. No, well, maybe not, I don't know, but there's a big molded in T here for strength. All right, there's some black paint around the window molding, which looks pretty nice. I don't see the fuel filler door. Maybe it's in the back. Red paint here. So again, 2002. All right. So yeah, I, I was, 
I'm just gonna add some black paint and that'll be it. No wheel swaps on these because uh, these are pretty cool wheels. They're not your standard boring ones. And I'll probably have to go and add some black paint in there. But we won't do that today. Alright, let's take a look at a couple of their uh, models here. Alright, so... I have a K-Class 164 scale. This is called a Daihatsu Tanto Custom. All K-Classes are around the same size because they're all trying to maximize the regulated size that uh, Japan allows. And then here's another one, the Suzuki Wit MR Wagon. So... Is that... I really don't have anything in 164 close to that so I'm not going to pull that out I guess. But here's a top view of a regular K class in 164 and uh, Choro Q. So these are such small cars in real life that these Choro Qs don't actually look that comical. I mean this thing actually almost looks like it's a normal car. It's a little bit shrunken in its overall length but the car itself in real life is a pretty goofy looking compact car so Anyways, uh, let's get to the Choro Q time. I do have this MR wagon by Choro Q, and I did a wheel swap. Some plastic uh, wheels. I forget who made those wheels, though. And then I have another, uh, this thing called a Daihatsu Tanto, which might be a K-Class car. I have a Mercedes A-Class, which is a pretty small Benz. Daihatsu Move, which I think is a K-Class van again. And the last one would be the classic Austin Mini Cooper. But I think this one is by Kieran Fire. And not Choro Q. All the other ones are Choro Qs, but the Mini is, I think, by Kieran Coffee. Kieran Fire Coffee. Alright. So most of these have wheel swaps and stuff like that. And that's one of the fun parts of collecting these cartoon cars for me. Just so making them look really customized. Okay. Alright. Yeah. It's uh, just a bunch of economy cars in Choro Q form. Not much else to it. Alright, well, thanks for watching. See you next time.